welcome back to day 13. So today I am here to talk about shifting your state when you're feeling stress or anxiety. And <clears throat> I want to dive into like why this is so important and why we each as individuals have our own personal power and control that maybe you don't feel all the time. And I know for me personally, when I used to struggle with like extreme anxiety constantly, I didn't really feel like there was any way to shift out of my anxiety. I just felt like that's who I was. And I was stressed about all the things going on in the world and in my life. And so on this video, I'm gonna be sharing some tips and just hopefully uh, bringing awareness to the fact that no matter what is going on in your world, you still have the power. Hey, welcome both of you. Uh, you still have the power no matter what's going on to come back and regain that control and shift your state into something more positive. So as you're hopping on, drop some hearts, say hi. If you're catching the replay, comment replay. Let me know that you're here and um, yeah, we'll just get going. Um, yeah, I was, I was reflecting on this this morning because I actually had a beautiful session with one of my friends, Christina. Hi, Emily. Welcome. Welcome. Um, I had a, I had, a, I was receiving a light language session and if you haven't checked out Christina, I'll drop her down below, uh, the video because she's so talented, so gifted. And, and so I was doing this session and one of the things that came through for me and I just was like in tears at it was about how I personally tend to make things way too serious which is why if you follow me on Instagram or on different platforms, like you see that I'm having daily dance parties or I'm doing things that for me, those are things that help shift me into a state of play, a state of joy, um, things that allow me to kind of break out of maybe what is the serious mindset or the, the, con the being consumed by all the things I feel like I need to do. And so that really prompted me to come on and talk about this because it's really easy. You know, we all live stressful lives in our own way. I'm sure every single one of you who's watching this video is going through something right now that's causing stress, whether it's related to career, whether it's related to relationships, lifestyle, money, health, um, it could simply be related to the global situation that's going on. You know, there are a lot of things that could be causing stress. So as always, please know I am not saying that your feelings aren't valid. I'm just hoping that I can provide some things to help you shift them and feel more empowered, feel more in control, okay? So if you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling overwhelmed, that's valid, that's okay. Uh, it's not bad. Don't judge yourself. Don't feel guilty. You know, that just creates more <laughs> more anxiety and stress if you feel guilty about it or if you're beating yourself up. So um, practicing acceptance has been a huge part of my life to just kind of be aware. Okay, like I'm feeling pretty stressed right now. I'm feeling pretty anxious. And instead of beating myself up over it, I'm going to just like accept that this is where I am right now and that's okay. A lot of times these emotions just really want to be felt. And so how often, you can let me know in the comments, how often have you felt stress or uh, stress or anxiety? And instead of like processing it, you just continue your busy day or you have all these things you need to get done or you're, you know, just kind of bottling it up, pushing it aside and focusing on other things, right? Um, and we're compartmentalizing it so we can continue. And, and sometimes that's a beautiful coping mechanism by the brain because it keeps us from feeling fully consumed and yet it's still there. So if you are feeling stress or anxiety before, <laughs> this is a super tangent, but if you're feeling that way, allow yourself to feel that and allow those emotions to come up, you know, realize they're valid, Maybe you just need a good cry. Maybe you need to journal. Maybe you need to go outside, uh, do some kind of movement or exercise, whatever it may be, um, to help you release that, okay? Now, in terms of actually shifting your state and changing your state, right? I talk about this quite often on different YouTube videos of the vibration scale um, with emotions. 
and the lower are or like the more dense the more heavy the emotion is the lower it is on the scale and that's why it literally feels heavy for us right if you think of like stress or overwhelm and anxiety it feels pretty heavy whereas if you think of like excitement and joy and play those are total different vibrations one's like keeping you dense and like weighed down and one of those is light and expansive and free there's a reason why it feels fun <laughs> there's a reason why we feel like we can be joyous because there's like this openness to it okay and that's part of that vibrational scale is that we're getting higher up in our vibrations which then allows us to really like you know release that tension and feel and so when it comes to shifting your state there are so many different ways you can do it i'll just share some of my favorites and some that i've seen beneficial for other people but basically it's any kind of thing that's going to help you interrupt the pattern okay tony Ro uh, tony robbins talks about this all the time as do you know so many others um but the pattern interrupt so if you are feeling stressed about something at work or you're feeling stressed about this thing that just happened you know like I said it's valid you can honor it you can accept that that's a, a real feeling um, and then instead of going going further down and down into that spiral it's that pattern interrupt that shift that helps like it's literally like flicking a switch in our brain that instead of staying in the dark we're like flicking it on and we're going hey i'm just gonna put the light on instead though and like hey i'm gonna go over here i'm gonna choose this so for me that can look like putting on a favorite song <laughs> and having my dance party and just jumping around and like shaking my arms and like i have no rhythm at all but i just i love it it makes me so happy because i just feel free and fun that could be going out in nature, going for a walk or bike ride or some kind of movement or yoga. It could be as simple as taking like three or four really, really deep breaths. So like when you're feeling stressed or anxious, your body starts to respond. And I'm not going to get into that on this video, but I do talk about it on other YouTube videos. So you can always check it out on there if you want it. Um, but your body starts to respond as well. And so it makes it harder because your body's responding to the anxiety and the stress. It makes it harder to flick that switch, which is why sometimes the best thing you can do is like just put your hands on your heart and take a few really, really deep breaths in and like exhaling out and visualize and feel that there is tension releasing with each exhale. Even just that helps to regulate your nervous system a little bit so that then you can think more clearly and you can, you know, start to see, okay, wait, you know, like I'm okay. And you actually get that like bird's eye view of your situation because when we're fully consumed by it, it's really hard to see all the different possibilities and all the different ways to find freedom or find, um, something better right find some happiness and joy so shifting your energetic state is really a conscious choice and that's kind of what i want to run home on this video um so task one for day 13 task one is going to be to um, try a few of these out the next time you're feeling stressed or anxious so whether that's literally today whether that's tomorrow whether that's next week just keep this video in the back of your mind and try out a few of these things. Maybe you've already done them. Maybe you already know what helps you personally when you're feeling stressed or anxious. So then practice that. So then, then the task is to actually apply it, right? Because <clears throat> what works for me when I'm feeling stressed and anxious might not work for you. And it might be different for someone else. So finding the thing that actually helps you personally to change your state or to feel like that shift is gonna be so powerful. So task one is to just like try some of these out if you haven't already um, and, and even re reflect on what does make you feel good because then that's something you can bring into any kind of moment, right? I know like there people could have people could have like objections and say that like, well, I can't just like have a dance party while I'm working at my job or something, you know? Uh, that's very true. You probably can't. 
um, it's different. But I know when I was working at um, working at like a nine to five job and I had to be a certain way, right? I couldn't dance in the middle of work <laughs> like I do now working from home. But um, I, I still had the power of certain little things. So maybe it wasn't like literally breaking out in song and dance, but I would focus on the feeling or the thought or imagination of like me dancing to my favorite song or me doing something with my friends that was super fun and enjoyable, right? And almost like that was my pattern interrupt to like implant in a different emotion, a different memory or feeling or desire because then that triggers the brain to change the feeling. So as long as I'm continuing to think about the stress or the anxiety, um, I'm continuing to send the signals to to excrete those hormones basically to like send out those hormones and continue the matching feeling so if I can shift into a positive thought even if I can't literally start dancing or I can't go for a run outside or I can't you know jump up and down and shake and dance and laugh like even if I can't physically do it if I can mentally bring myself there and implant that kind of emotion or feeling even if it's for like 30 seconds that's strong enough to send your body the different signals and now your body can send the different hormones to match that emotion okay and you might feel a little bit strange when you're doing this like again another common objection i hear all the time is like well i can't just be happy because these things are going on or i can't just start laughing and, and feel like everything's good because look at all of the list of things that are stressing me out. Again, I'm not saying those things aren't valid, but what I'm saying is you have a choice on how you're responding to them and how you're letting them affect and impact you each day. Those stresses are gonna be there whether you're feeling good or feeling bad because right now that's in your reality. There are stresses in my life right now they're there <laughs> they're very real <clears throat> but i know that i have the power and i have the choice do i focus on them and allow myself to feel really shitty and even more stressed or do i want to feel empowered and strong and like in control and just enjoying the moment because next moment there's going to be another stress next week there's going to be another stress next year there's going to be another stress if I can't feel good now, I'm never going to feel good because there is always going to be a challenge. There is always going to be something that we're moving through. That is part of life, unfortunately, <laughs> and fortunately, because it's a great uh, way to learn. But I know that I have the choice of where I focus. And I know that if I focus on the stress and the anxiety and the things that are causing that, it just pulls me down, it makes me feel worse, and it makes me feel really stuck on how to act and how to shift. So that's why over time, I've been very, very committed to practicing like what is the good feeling thought? What is the thing that's gonna help me feel better even though this stress is still right here and it's valid, it's real. But if this can make me feel better, wow, like all of a sudden I've gone from the bottom of this vibrational scale and I've lifted up a little bit. And then all of a sudden I've lifted up a little bit more as I keep practicing it. And now it's like, ooh, I can still be up here. I can still be feeling good and positive and hopeful and excited and loving my life, even though there are stresses and even though there's things I'm still trying to figure out. And as you go up that vibrational scale, <laughs> how did I do it? There we go. As you go up that vibrational scale, let me know if this is making sense, please. <laughs> Comment down below if you can relate or if you have any thoughts or questions. Um, so um, when you go up this vibrational scale, you can see it gets bigger at the top, which is why it becomes easier to see, easier to breathe, easier to have clarity, right? There's space there's openness. When you're down at the bottom, there's no space. It's not very open, <laughs> which is why it's very heavy, very stressful. But as you can keep shifting yourself, choosing to feel good, even if there's stuff that's not perfect and there's stuff going wrong, well, then you start to have like the clarity. You get up here and because of that, now you actually see options. And now you actually see, oh, okay, like here are 
some very possible solutions for my problems. It's really hard to find solutions when you're f consumed smack dab in the problem or in the stress and anxiety, right? So <clears throat> the whole point of this video, because <laughs> I'm going to wrap this up very soon, is to uh, become aware of where you're giving your power and are you identifying and really con uh, being consumed by the stress and anxiety and staying in that energetic state or are you kind of working? And again, it's it's not necessarily always easy, but it's just realizing, hey, I, I do have the power to choose. I do have the power to choose something that's gonna feel better. So I'm gonna just keep plugging away, keep working towards that, right? and keep shifting so that my state feels better so that I feel more empowered and just centered and grounded and confident and calm and in control of myself because that is only going to do good things for the rest of your life right like that is only going to help you handle your stress or your anxiety it's it's like that's the best possible place you could get into that's the best state you could create for yourself if you want to manage the day-to-day -day life right so choosing those things just choosing the things that help you feel good so your homework like i said is to practice and and try some of these different things out um and see which things actually work best for you and then um hmm do i want to give what could be like a next task? <clears throat> task number two, <laughs> day 13, task number two, I'm going to throw something in here, is to write out one or two sentences of your ideal energetic state. So stress aside, anxiety aside, current challenges aside, where, what is your ideal energetic state? How do you want to feel? write out one to two sentences about that in the present tense like i love feeling blank 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 or i'm so happy and grateful that this 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 is my reality or it feels so good to be in control of my emotions to be you know choosing the positive feelings or positive thoughts every day um, i'm so happy and grateful that i can find joy and gratitude even in the hard moments right like something that helps you um and almost like you can create a little energetic like feel into that create an energetic signature of what that would be like for you that version of you who is that and then i recommend like reading this every day <laughs> especially if you're someone who struggles with a lot of stress anxiety and overwhelm the more you can remind yourself that this energetic state of being is possible, that this is a choice, that you can choose and actively work towards being that person every single day, the more you realize that, the less you're going to be so consumed over here and identified over here, right? You get to just keep stepping baby steps day by day into that new state of being. So that will be task two for today. And, um, yeah, then, you know, if again, if this is something you struggle with a lot, maybe you set that as a reminder in your phone so that it goes off a few times throughout the day or you make it your phone screensaver so that you can look at it and you can see, oh, yeah, right. I get to choose to be this person, right? Or I'm so happy and grateful that I'm this, this, this. This is a choice. I'm going to choose that right now. OK, I'm going to choose what I can control, which is only myself. I can't control all the things outside of me. I can only control how I handle it, how I respond to it. So I'm going to choose to focus on that and gain mastery. <laughs> gain so much control over yourself and your own emotions that those other things don't feel as consuming or as stressful anymore. And it's beautiful. I promise you it's so worth it and it's so possible, okay? But it takes the practice. Um, it didn't happen for me overnight by any means, but it's so worth it to be there. Like I can't imagine how I used to live now because of all of this work. So um, give that a go. That is your homework. If you found this helpful, again, please feel free to comment and let me know. And for those of you who are interested, who are looking for more support and you are struggling, maybe you've been trying to do a lot of this stuff on your own for very long 
and you're realizing that like you're getting progress but it's not nearly as fast as you'd like and you want to know more you want to have more support and tools and guidance and getting there I will drop the link down below for my release to thrive mastermind which is my 90 day program uh, and it is honestly so powerful so amazing at helping you release and shift out of the old ways the old things that are keeping you stuck and build your confidence build this new identity feel empowered in who you are and fully start showing up from that higher vibrational place from that place of feeling in control and um, really truly aligned to the core of who you are your true self instead of like the anxiety instead of the stress instead of the limiting beliefs or doubts the things that you think you are we help you uncover release and step into who you truly are okay so i would love to chat with you further if this is something you're interested in right now again that link will be down below to learn more and then to book in a free discovery call with me or a member of my team and we can really dive in and and see if this would be a good fit and see if we can help you so that is it for today thank you so much for being here everyone and i hope you have a beautiful day and i'll see you tomorrow for day 14.